everyone welcome back to the channel today we're working on a 57 Bel Air so this car came to us for a windshield replacement and uh, it's typical of what the original windshield of a 57 looks like I can turn around and show that to you here it is uh, in cracked and has started to what we call delaminate all across the bottom and it had gotten really hard to see out of uh, surprisingly there's no cracks or busts in the windshield and all of the trims seem to be in pretty good shape but this is what we're working with so this is a uh, just a really nice patinaed uh, 57 it's got a nice little hot 383 stroker motor in it and uh, underneath the windshield like I said I don't think this glass had ever been out a little bit crusty there um, and then we've got a little bit of rust through on the passenger side, which I'll show you now. So our plans are, we're going to go ahead and wire brush everything out. Um, there's the rust through there. We'll cut that out and put new metal back in. So we've got some tape laid out so we don't get onto the paint uh, when we wire brush everything out. And our plans are, uh, we'll go in, we'll fix that, we'll prime it. And we're going to try to blend out, um, put some new paint back in there and blend back out onto the, the old paint and kind of weather it and make it look original as possible. So we're going to set the uh, camera up. Uh, my man Troy is going to come in here and uh, start wire brushing that and get it cleaned up. And we'll see about putting some new metal in this thing. So now we had everything uh, wire brushed down and cleaned up. We did discover a little bit of rust over here on the driver's side as well. So we went ahead, we cut that out. Uh, we formed a new piece of uh, 18 gauge metal to go back in there and weld in. And we fixed that little area there. And then over on the passenger side, we did the same thing as well. Again, we've got just a little bit of welding to do right there to finish that up. But again, we just, you know, hand formed some pieces out of 18 gauge and, and welded that back in there. Uh, then we've still got just a little bit right in here to take care of. Um, then we're going to go ahead and get all this finished up. We'll get some primer put on everything. Uh, again, everything cleaned up pretty good. It was just a lot of loose dirt and debris. Uh, like I said, this thing, the glass had never come out uh, when it was painted. So, I mean, you can see here how the, the paint stops. So then all this is just the original uh, red oxide primer. So it's not just terrible shape. Uh, we did decide to, we talked to the customer, we're gonna go ahead while we've got easy access to, we're gonna go ahead and repaint uh, the top of the dash and all of the garnish molding that goes in uh, around the windshield. You can see the speaker grill there, it's pretty scratched up. Um, and then the paint, it's, it's really hard to pick up in, in the camera, but it looks like it's just, I don't know, it's been hot or somebody got a hold of it with a torch or something. It's just really, really textured. So we're gonna go back in, smooth all that out, put him some new paint there on the dash, uh, garnish molding. Uh, like I said, we'll we'll paint it around the windshield uh, frame edge here, and uh, see if we can get him looking a lot better. So after a little bit of body work, we was able to spray a uh, really good 2K high build primer in here around our windshield frame and the top of our dash. We did go ahead and we've got all of our garnish molding uh, primed as well. So today we will be sanding all of that down. We're going to try to focus on getting the dash painted first uh, because it's going to be black. Uh, so we'll go back in, we'll paint all of that, do all the garnish molding. We'll get those painted. Uh, then we'll come back in and we'll paint from the uh, where the actual the windshield sits down in there. 
it'll be actually red. So we don't want to do the two colors at the same time because we would we'll be doing a single stage paint on this. But everything where our repairs were, everything looks great. Again, it's not just uh, absolutely perfect, but there's no rust through. Uh, after a little bit of sanding, I think all this will will clean up and and look pretty good. So um, again, the dash. So let's get to sanding. So we missed a couple of days uh, filming, but we did get the uh, Bel Air uh, painted. We got the new windshield in and trim all back on. We also repainted the dash uh, black, as I told you we was going to do that. And we ended up going with a satin black on the dash uh, to kind of match. We didn't want to get it just super glossy uh, and then it not match the original garnish molding over here. We haven't repainted that yet. Um, we did do all the garnish molding on the dash and around the windshield surround there. It's kind of hard to tell. But uh, so we've got that done. All the windshield wipers are back on it. And uh, this one's about ready to go home. So what we did, and uh, maybe you can kind of pick this up here on the camera. Uh, we just repainted the, the very, very edge right here. And you can kind of see a little bit of a line. So once we painted the, the red, we let it dry. We come back in uh, a couple of days later and we did some wet sanding with, uh, with a 1500 grit here just to kind of dull it back down to where it would match this original uh, paint. Uh, then you can kind of tell here uh, some of that we just kind of left. Like I said, this is just a patinaed car. It's not 100% you know, perfect uh, and we didn't really want it to look that way. When we go back in, we wanted it to you know, somewhat match uh, what's, what's already there. So we think it turned out pretty good. Uh, we're about ready to send this one home. We've got it all cleaned up on the inside, wiped down, got all the dust out of it. And uh, so just kind of wanted to show you there what we've got.